Chapter 15 Immediately at dawn, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, indeed the whole Sanhedrin, consulted together, and they bound Jesus, and led him off, and handed him over to Pilate. So Pilate put the question to him, Are you the king of the Jews? In answer he said, You yourself say it. But the chief priests were accusing him of many things. Now Pilate began questioning him again, saying, Have you no reply to make? See how many charges they are bringing against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Well, from festival to festival, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. At the time, the man named Barabbas was in prison with the seditionists, who in their sedition had committed murder. So the crowd came up and began to make their request, according to what Pilate used to do for them. He responded to them, saying, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For Pilate was aware that out of envy the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas to them instead. Again in reply, Pilate said to them, What then should I do with the one you call the king of the Jews? Once more they cried out, To the stake with him! But Pilate went on to say to them, Why? What bad thing did he do? Still they cried out all the more, To the stake with him! At that, Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them. And after having Jesus whipped, he handed him over to be executed on the stake. The soldiers now led him off into the courtyard, that is, into the governor's residence, and they called the whole body of troops together. And they dressed him in purple, and braided a crown of thorns and put it on him. And they began to call out to him, Greetings, you king of the Jews. Also, they were hitting him on the head with a reed and spitting on him. And they got on their knees and bowed down to him. Finally, after they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple and put his outer garments on him. And they led him out to nail him to the stake. Also, they compelled in the service a passerby, a certain Simon of Cyrene, coming from the countryside, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his torture stake. So they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means, when translated, skull place. Here they tried to give him wine drugged with myrrh, but he would not take it. And they nailed him to the stake and distributed his outer garments by casting lots over them to decide who would take what. It was now the third hour, and they nailed him to the stake. And the inscription of the charge against him was written, The King of the Jews. Moreover, they put two robbers on stakes alongside him, one on his right and one on his left. And those passing by spoke abusively to him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! You who would throw down the temple and build it in three days, save yourself by coming down off the torture stake. In the same way also, the chief priests with the scribes were mocking him among themselves, saying, Others he saved, himself 
he cannot say. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, now come down off the torture stake so that we may see and believe. Even those who were on stakes alongside him were reproaching him. When it became the sixth hour, a darkness fell over all the land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, when translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of those standing near, on hearing it, began to say, See, he is calling Elijah. Then someone ran, soaked a sponge in sour wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Let him be. Let us see whether Elijah comes to take him down. But Jesus let out a loud cry and expired. And the curtain of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the army officer who was standing by with him in view saw that he had expired under these circumstances, he said, Certainly, this man was God's son. There were also women watching from a distance, among them Mary Magdalene, as well as Mary, the mother of James the Less, and of Joseph, and Salome who used to accompany him and minister to him when he was in Galilee, and many other women who had come up together with him to Jerusalem. Now, as it was already late in the afternoon, and since it was preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, there came Joseph of Arimathea, a reputable member of the council, who also himself was waiting for the kingdom of God. He took courage and went in before Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. But Pilate wondered whether he could already be dead. And summoning the army officer, he asked him whether Jesus had already died. So after making certain from the army officer, he granted the body to Joseph. After he bought fine linen and took him down, he wrapped him in the fine linen and laid him in a tomb that was quarried out of rock. Then he rolled a stone up to the entrance of the tomb. But Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph continued looking at where he had been laid. 